because when I was growing up in the 50s and 60s, I don't care where you went to school, discipline was part of the curriculum. Students feared the teachers because they knew there were consequences to their actions. Today, a kid acts up, all they do is adjust his medication. <laughs> and at home, we feared our parents. You did something wrong, there was no time out. There's no quiet time. And there was no talking to their hand. You see your hands, you better duck and duck quick. <laughs> Fear was the riddling of the 50s. <laughs> yeah. Things are different today. A friend of mine just had his first kid. His wife and him is like the brains have turned to mush. Oh, this is too hot. Oh, that's too cold. That's the wrong car seat. Car seat? <laughs> we didn't have no car seats. We didn't have seat belts. They gave you a pair of scissors and told you to run. <laughs> See, this is because I was a product of the post-war baby boom. This is the first wave of the baby boomers. War's over, boom, boom, everybody's having babies. Pretty soon, there's too many babies. What are you gonna do? You start weeding them out. <laughs> I mean, we had pajamas that would burst into flames if you looked at them hard enough. <laughs> Toxic paints on everything. All our toys had little sharp objects on them and things that would fly off in different directions. There was always some kid walking around with a patch over his eye. By the time I was in fifth grade, there was three kids named Lefty. <laughs> but I think those of us who survived the 50s are stronger for it. I mean, how many three-year-olds do you know can hold their own against a dry cleaning bag? <laughs> See, where was I?